Okay, so um, I should say Mari Mari Kombuche, but I know I'm going to be saying it very soon. Uh, so I've already finished doing the reaction, but I needed to dive in here and just sort of forewarn you that I am very tired. I'm having a very weird day, so I barely know what I've been saying. <laughs> so in case this uh, uh, reaction turns out to be either really short or rather weird, I, I apologize. I'm just really, really tired. So um yeah, I'm just having one of those days. So um, hopefully you can still enjoy the reaction and I'm not overly strange. <laughs> okay, um, let's get on. Mari Mari Kompuche and welcome back. Today we are doing my Valden, Valden, Valden um, from the Wembley 2015 show. Uh, I haven't looked up anything about the song, I haven't looked up the lyric, I'm guessing it's from the album they're touring with, but I don't know if it's an older song or not, uh, because, yeah, I just um, leave the info down below, I uh, I uh, am tired, I'm forgetting my words, I like when you sort of give me the info um, as well. So I didn't want to look up anything today. So I'm going to shift a bit during this concert. Sometimes I'm going to look things up and sometimes I won't. But um, today I'm flying blind, so to speak. I do remember that last week, I can't remember if it was... I can't remember the order now. If it was Ever Dream or... Story Time? I can't remember the order now. But at the end of the last of those two songs, Troy walked up. Uh, on stage, so I'm guessing and hoping that I'm going to hear well the entire band, but including Troy this with this song. Let's just start. <laughs> you know, I've been to I've been to Machu Picchu and I've been to the Taj Mahal. I've been to Petra, I've seen Christ the Redeemer, I've seen most of the Seven Wonders, but it's nothing compared to this. <laughs> nothing. That's the way to win a crowd. <laughs> and if you don't mind, I've been dreaming about this since I was about nine, so can I just say it once? Good evening, Wembley. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for that. <laughs> Here we go, we're going to go deep into the mountains, have a little drinky with Shelley and Byron and Coleridge. And Whitman. Is it going to be a bit more folk? It starts that way. I don't want to, but I'm going to pause because otherwise I'm just gonna... It's gonna be a silent reaction if I don't say anything, I feel. Um, I'm loving the greenish hue of the lamps. Um, it sort of adds on to the folkish uh, undertones of the song. Um, yeah, what do I want to add? Uh, the strings in the background, gorgeous. Hopefully uh, you're picking that up because I can hear them, but I had to turn up the volume at one of the volume. Uh, knap, what is the word? Buttons that I have uh, because the other one just didn't pick that up so I had to crank up the volume on another part um, so hopefully you're picking that up because that's beautiful um, yeah, I'm liking it it's very um, 
oh how can I say that it's very um well her voice makes it very ethereal angelical whatever you wish to call it um but it's also very sort of um head on but in a soft way which it's just a great way of them being able to play around with sound because songs that just feel like they're just like head on tend to be more um hard i mean they can be really good but they tend to be more you know in your face this is not in your face and yet it feels like it's just banging on straight at you so uh, i'm gonna keep listening because i might change my mind but that's sort of how i'm receiving it right now but in a very softish head-on way hopefully you can understand what i'm trying to say i'm really tired today so i'm gonna blame my tiredness on if i mumble and say uh, um unsensical things <laughs> We can take the mountain path dancing. Change the pace. Um, sorry for pausing in the middle of that uh, because I just realized I'm not saying anything. Um, I'm liking the guitar bit in this uh, bit. I'm guessing both of them are playing. Um, Empu and um, I was going to say Troy. His name is not Troy. Uh, Marco. Um, I'm sort of liking that. I'm not going to mimic it because I've only just heard a song. But yeah, I'm liking the, yeah, the sound of it, basically. Um, I like the switch between the pipes as well to just add more flavour. Um, I'm really liking this bit. I felt myself just tapping out <laughs> for a moment, so that's also why I'm not talking to you. Um, yeah, I really like the change of pace and the... Yeah, I don't know. Just... Mm. I'm having one of those days where I'm not talking that much. Maybe I am. I don't think I am. I'm tired. I'm gonna leave it at that. I barely know what I'm saying. <laughs> That was the ending of the 
really bad pausing of me then. Um, I'm going to re-listen to it, but I do, I'm gonna, I will try to say a few things. I just have to figure out <laughs> what I want to say. Um, what do I want to say? I want to say things. Um, but yeah, um, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm having a weird day. Um, I, I like the song. I definitely need to re-listen to it a few more times to just get the melody and the rhythm and just tag along a bit more. It did feel, um, yeah, those folk, folk song, folk music undertones uh, makes it really easy to just uh, want to tag along. It's sort of a way that a lot of folk music, um, at least European folk music, is set up that it's just, it's supposed to w make you want to join in. Um, so I did feel on many different occasions that I was sort of like, almost starting to sing along and my brain was like but you don't know the words <laughs> um so you know it, it definitely has that um you know carrying through um what else i feel like i'm umming more than anything today again i'm i'm sorry i feel like a broken record just apologizing but yeah um what else oh i got a lady here i'm sorry it's just at the end when they sort of put up a few uh, suggestions. There is a lady here reacting and I've never seen her before. Maybe I should listen to her do reactions. What is she reacting to? The Icelander. That's Nightwish. I'm, I'm saving that one for when I'm... Is it temp, tam, Tampere? Why do I always forget if it's an A or an E? I'm sorry. Tampere, Tempere. I'm sorry. <laughs> one of those. Um, so I'll have to wait. But I was intrigued by seeing her there. Anyway, the song. I'm going to re-listen to it. And if I feel like I need to say more while listening to it, I'm going to pause. Um, because, yeah. I After that shift in the middle or towards the end, I genuinely, my brain just tapped out of the fact that I was doing reactions. So, I'm sorry. Oops. Um, so, yeah. I'll play it again. And hopefully I'll... Uh, pick up some more details this time or I'll completely tap out again. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> but thank you nonetheless for staying and tagging along with me even though I'm having a weird day. <laughs> okay, you know, I just... I've been to, I've been to Machu Picchu okay. and I've been to the Taj Mahal <laughs> I've been to Petra, I've seen Christ the Redeemer, I've seen most of the Seven Wonders, but it's nothing compared to this. Nothing. And if you don't mind, I've been dreaming about this since I was about nine, so can I just say it once? Good evening, Wembley. <laughs> Thanks for that. Here we go, we're going to go deep into the mountains, have a little drinky with Shelley and Byron and Coleridge and Whitman. I could skip Byron, not a fan. <laughs> Don't like how Imp was always walking around, sort of giving his awesome vibe to everyone in the band. Yeah, I'm really liking the bass. I just realised something. Uh, some of you pointed out that I haven't necessarily mentioned Kai. Uh, I am aware. I just don't really know right now what to say because, well, I suppose last week's songs weren't new songs, but this is the first time. Um, so hearing him uh, be part of Nightwish, I think I've heard one song before. Um, but um, yeah, so it's really difficult for me when sort of the... The songs are new or it's a new version of the song for me to necessarily be able to uh, make specific remarks i mean he's playing gorgeously don't get me wrong like he's definitely talented i'm not saying that he isn't um but i just um if any of you were expecting me to do uh, comparisons that's not gonna happen uh, for various reasons but um mostly because his playing is new to me and i've only heard um you know, um, 
Oh, I forgot the name. Vaken. Uh, so that's the only thing I have also to compare the drummers with. Um, so if I had a bigger variety, and maybe in the future I will have, so I be, will be able to point out certain differences and things like that. But right now, uh, he plays gorgeously. I, I already knew I was going to like the way he played because of the comments many of you <laughs> already left me. Um, but um, yeah, right now I don't feel like I have uh, a big of a grip to that big of a grip uh, to his style of playing to be able to uh, uh, sort of say oh he's he plays more heavy or more lighter or more uh, gritty or more whatever like this is the fourth song I'm listening to with him um, and dramas can change um, you know between different songs they can make major changes in their style so right now I don't feel like I have that much to contribute uh, when it comes to uh, saying anything specific about Kai other than I think he's playing gorgeously. Okay? <laughs> so that you know, I mean, again, when I've heard more, I will most likely point out more differences, um, but so far that's not happening. And now you know why. <laughs> say something and I'm sort of starting to forget what I wanted to say um ah uh, come on um yes just a little side note um I have a sensation that I'm going to be dancing around to this one in my kitchen the entire weekend um because I spend a lot of time in my kitchen both because I'm sort of a neat freak when it comes to my kitchen and I like to be have it like spotless but also I like to cook a lot and I sort of prepare meals uh, for the week during the weekend so I do spend a lot of time in the kitchen during the weekend so I feel like this is going to be on loop and I'm going to be jumping and dancing around which um, I feel like I'm going to enjoy a lot so um, yeah <laughs> um, there was something else I wanted to say apart from that I can't remember now but I'm loving the undertones I'm loving the um, obvious sounds. Uh, I'm loving the mix. I'm loving Flo's voice. Um, and I'm loving um, Marco and Troy and Flo singing together as well. They create a very lovely sound because their voices are different, yet they just blend gorgeously. And I love the sound of classical piano. <laughs> I love that instead of doing two songs, they just make one song 
two different sounds. I love that Nightwish just does that, and sometimes three different sounds. And you know. I think we would find if she did. going to ow <laughs> smack my earring into the back of my ear what is that called well it's a skull but yeah uh the back of the earring smacked into anyway <laughs> oh i'm really weird today weirder yeah i'm having a weird day i'm gonna blame it on the tiredness it's a mix of already being weird and tired i think <laughs> anyway if you've kept watching even though i've been a bit off today thank you <laughs> and uh, hopefully i won't cringe too much when i am uh, editing this seeing myself being whatever's going on with me today um yeah and if you notice that there is something different with the camera angle is because i have a new tripod yeah that's the word i have a new tripod and i couldn't get thank you goals um i couldn't get the right um well, the angle that I usually have, like it was either too low or too high. And I always try to sort of get the, the lines going sort of straight with the camera. Um, and I couldn't today. And I, yeah, I don't know. Um, it took me about 10 minutes just faffing with the camera back and forth. And then I decided that this angle would have to do. So, um, yeah, I'll, I'll see if I can work it out because I'm not overly fond of, like, I'm, it looks okay, but again, it, sort of the, the lines being so wonky, it just annoys me. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm going to leave it at that today. Uh, thank you very much for watching, especially if you watched to the end. I really like this song, but I'm going to have to listen to it when I'm less tired. And also spend the entire weekend listening to it. So, um, yeah. Um, oh, I did want to say in the beginning, I have stop listening to the back end concert um because uh not because i wanted to uh but because um i sort of want to dive into this one and uh since i finally got the entire back end concert done i've sort of been listening to the entire concert in a loop so i stopped a few weeks now i don't think i've mentioned it before or maybe i have a few weeks now i stopped listening to the back end concert um just so that I can get as fresh a sound a take on this concert and not necessarily sort of have that in the background going, oh, in back and they did this and now they're doing that. Like, no, I want to have as fresh a take because I know that certain songs, like the two last week, are going to be songs that I've heard before. So I want to have a fre as fresh a take as possible. Maybe I did mention it last week. Anyway. Just adding that in, in case I haven't mentioned it before. Um, but I do feel like I need to listen to the entirety of the Vacan concert because I'm sort of missing it. <laughs> so maybe I will, but just once. I don't know. Um, let me know what you think in the comments, if you think I should listen to it. Like, more sparsely, 
than I did previously. Um, but uh, uh, maybe I should listen to it now and then. Or a few songs now and then. I don't know. Anyway, I'm leaving you there now. Um, yeah, that's it for today. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching and take care of one another. And I hope everyone is doing very well. And I hope everyone is doing very well. I'll see you when I see you. Bye.